Hey everybody, Rob here for Southwest Florida Television. Happy Wednesday from Vanderbilt Beach in North Naples, Florida. All eyes on Helene. She's expected to become a hurricane real soon if she hasn't done so already. She's down there somewhere. She's going to be passing by us out in the Gulf of Mexico tomorrow, stirring up that water, kicking up the waves. Going to be kind of breezy. You'd see some tropical storm force gusts, especially closer to the coast. Coastal flooding and low lying areas, most likely. breezy here. You're going to be dealing with a little wind noise as I make my way up the beach here, so deal with it. <laughs> it is what it is. 80 humid degrees. Water's still not too rough. But that will be changing as the lean gets closer. The tide is going out right now. It will be high tide at this time tomorrow morning, but probably raining. Water temperature is 88. I will be trying to get out here during the storm, if at all possible. Probably won't be doing any live feeds, but I will get some video and some photos, hopefully, if it's not too dangerous to share with you. You know, that excites me tremendously to be out in those storms. I love that adrenaline rush, as long as there's not some wicked lightning. That water could come up way up onto this beach tomorrow. We'll see. They said it'll be very similar to Debbie, maybe even a little worse than Debbie. If you remember Debbie, we had some flooding along Gulf Shore Drive up here, Vanderbilt Beach. Seen a lot of birds feeding out here this morning. Hit that share button. Let your friends know I'm out here. We were watching these birds earlier this morning during my first live feed. There's a ton of little fingerling fish, little hatchlings, right along the edge of the water. Little, just little teeny tiny things, you know, maybe an inch long. They're just kind of washing up in the waves. Birds are kind of eating them like popcorn. Not really seeing much in the way of sun. 
Very, very cloudy. I think that's the third person I've seen on the beach now this morning, besides Jason in his John Deere tractor. I don't think I, I don't even recall seeing the turtle people this morning, which is odd. Our poor sea turtles, man, they had a bad season. What a shame. We didn't have a record-breaking number of nests to start with, and then... They just got wiped out by storms. This will be the icing on the cake. Any that might have survived, this will probably put the kibosh on them. They'll probably be busy Friday morning cleaning up the beach. <laughs> okay. Wish you were out here with me. Yeah, I don't care what the weather is. I think it's just always beautiful being out here on the beach with my beach family. I'm so glad that I'm able to get out here and share it with you. Seems like I'm always battling technology. Just that when everything is working great, the audio is working great, the video is working great, Facebook or Apple does an update and everything goes kaput. Ha! I don't get it. I thought getting a new iPhone was going to be the answer to all my problems. And instead, it just opened up a whole bunch of new problems, new issues. It's pretty calm still. Not much in the way of waves yet. By this evening, it's going to be a whole different story. Wednesday morning, my friends. Hump day. Awesome music tonight at the North Naples Country Club. Some good eats. St. Louis ribs. Mm -mm, that's their Wednesday special all day long till 10 p.m. And then that open jam session from 8.30 to 11.30 on Wednesday nights. North Naples Country Club is the place to be on Wednesday nights. Go check it out. If you're looking for a good meal, Naples House of Omelets also here in North Naples. Ooh, breakfast, lunch, Nobody leaves hungry or unhappy from Naples House of Omelets. You go in there and say hi to Eli. You won't miss Eli. If he's there, you'll see him out on the floor. He's out making sure everything's all right. He's making sure you're happy. Customer satisfaction. Smiling, happy customers. That's what House of Omelets is all about. Full bellies and big smiles. <laughs>
If you're just tuning in, I'm walking north on Vanderbilt Beach up towards Del Norwegian's Pass State Park. I'm just north of La Playa, if you're familiar with Vanderbilt Beach. It's about 80 degrees, very, very overcast skies. This is all the fallout, the early fallout. What I believe is still Tropical Storm Helene. I don't think she's turned into a hurricane yet. But they were expecting that to happen around 8 o'clock this morning. Fill up now, little guy, because you probably won't be out here tomorrow morning. It definitely looks like it's raining over there. They said 8 o'clock it was going to be raining here. They said light thunderstorm begins. I don't think so. I think it, it just keeps getting pushed back a little later and later. Pretty dark here. It's really hard to see down into the water. Well, the water was starting to look so good yesterday. Now it's going to get all churned up. And it's going to take a while before it clears up. Man. How's everybody doing today? Everybody feeling good? As good as possible. Not counting all the normal aches and pains of getting older. <laughs> Maturity. Isn't it wonderful? Right now that wind's coming out of the south, southeast. So tomorrow, a two to four foot storm surge, maybe three to five feet, all the way up here in North Naples. That could put the water up pretty high here on the beach. Hopefully there won't be any property damage. 
pray for the folks up in the panhandle, up in the big bend area of North Florida where this nasty storm's predicted to make landfall. believe how quiet it is how few people there are out here this morning that's kind of odd i thought it'd be kind of busy i thought people would be out here trying to get their last morning walk in here it's probably not going to get one tomorrow morning i might be the only crazy person out here on the beach you know and that's not true because there's quite a few people that want to get out here and see what's going on you come out here during a good storm, you won't be alone. I'm guessing Del Norwegans will close tomorrow. Just for the safety of their employees. No reason for them to be out working in that nasty weather. Hopefully Wiggins won't get hit too hard. It seems like every time we have a storm pass by in the Gulf, the parking lots get flooded and full of sand. 
probably happen again this storm. So it might not open immediately on Friday morning. Keep our fingers crossed. Hey, remember, I do depend on your support to make ends meet each month. If you appreciate my efforts coming out, getting up early, coming out to the beach, letting you see what's happening, it's always, always different. Maybe consider sending some stars. I get a penny for each star that you send to my videos on Facebook. Tips are hugely appreciated. That's it actually gets me through each day when I get a tip. <laughs> I do appreciate that. You can find a link to my PayPal account in the description of this post. You can also find me on Venmo and Apple Pay if you'd like to send a little token of appreciation. Consider maybe subscribing to my Southwest Florida Television Facebook page. That would be awesome. If I get enough subscribers, that'd be it. You wouldn't have to do anything else. Huh. Just subscribers, and maybe some stars. Pretty sweet. Well, whatever. Thanks for hanging out with me. Thanks for being a friend. I love sharing my beach walk with you. My beach time. There's nothing though like being out here in person. That is the ultimate. Well, thanks for the stars. Man, I just about have this place to myself this morning. It's just us out here. Look at that. <laughs> Somebody at the beach there.
wonder where all those birds went. We saw a whole bunch of snowy egrets, little snowies, down by the La Playa earlier. I think they made their way up to the north here, up to Del Norwegians. So far, I'm lucking out as far as getting rained on. That's a plus. Gonna be breezy when we hit the beach at Del Norwegians. No buildings blocking that wind. The wind's still getting in between them, but it's gonna be windier. I think at Wiggins. which is just ahead of us here, just beyond these condos, Mariah Bay there, the last condo on the right. taken off there. Seagulls. Ooh, there's a, that's the most wind I've had all morning.
I don't see any of our great blue herons along here this morning. Now check out the beach at Del Norwigans. It's looking pretty quiet. the birds there. I don't want to scare them off. It's like they know something's up all lining up. Very calm right now. Wow.
beautiful mile-long stretch of paradise, my friends. I love it. Look at all the birds. Amazing. Wonder why they're hanging out down here. This is pretty cool, pretty cool. Well, get you down by this water one last little time. I'm off the ledge. Friday morning, it's going to be a uh, 
whole new look here at the beach. What's it gonna look like? It's amazing, isn't it? How many birds there are out here this morning? This is kind of what it was like before Hurricane Ian. There was a ton of birds up by Wiggins Pass. And they were all like lined up facing the same direction. I think they were like kind of facing north. It was really kind of eerie. and the park might be closed. They closed it the day before Debbie passed by. And I don't see any activity here.
that pile of sand there. That's part of the sand that was out in the parking lot after Debbie passed by. So we're probably gonna see that pile growing after Lean passes us by, but yep, yeah, looks like the park is closed. Ever since Ian, they don't take any chances anymore. So the rangers get a little vacation. <laughs> They'll probably be working hard come Friday. All right, I'm gonna bring this live feed to an end. I might come back for another one, I don't know. We'll see what happens. See what happens over the rest of the day, tomorrow. I'll do what I can to let you know what's going on to keep you updated as far as some video goes. I think we're going to be in for a bumpy ride tomorrow. It's wild seeing this place closed like this. If you happen to send a couple stars this morning, thank you. I couldn't be out here doing this if it wasn't for your generosity. Keep that in mind. You're awesome. Thanks for being a friend. Tell your friends about Southwest Florida Television. Invite them into our beach family. Plenty of room for new members. Thanks for allowing me into your lives and onto your screens. I do appreciate it. Why you do it, I don't know, but thank you.
until next time, stay safe, stay healthy, and stay strong. Tally ho, my friends, tally ho. For Southwest Florida Television, I'm Rob Stan. May God bless you, your family, your friends, your fur babies, everything and everyone in your lives. And God bless our wonderful, beautiful, and amazing country. God bless America. Tally-ho. Tally-ho.